Hello there and welcome to Vermin Hunters TV with me, Cy Pitway. Today on the show you'll see the results of a Ratworks Reaper episode we've done. Uh, a lot of people's asked uh, over the last few months if they can see some uh, more from the Reaper. Uh, so we've been out and we've been shooting rats and rabbits. So enjoy. Me and Davey's both been part of this uh, episode. Uh, it's been nice getting out with him. Uh, let us know what you think. Uh, and if you've got any ideas for future productions from Vermin Hunters TV, please leave a comment. Right, it's been a bit of a while uh, since I've used this rifle, but it's my wife's Ratworks Reaper 177 calibre. Today I come up to the pig farm. Uh, well, it's actually night time. It's now at 1900 hours, just gone in fact. Uh, and I'm going to uh, zero it up with GSB Evis. I've done the near and far on it. Uh, using obviously the chronographs but I haven't got a fine zero uh, I want it spot on now at 30 meters or 33 yards so I'm gonna shoot a few shots off camera uh, and then probably film a bit of a group for you and then hopefully get some rats with it but this year this rifle and my Sandalfield Sports Snipe is gonna get plenty more action because too good uh, to be sat and not used or only used twice a year at shooting meet so get out and use it a bit, what it's capable of. Hopefully there'll be some rats out tonight. It's been raining. Uh, it's a shame Davey can't make it tonight. His wife's got a christening tomorrow, uh, so it's just me. Let's see how we get on. So then off camera, I've got a rough zero, and it's not far off being spot on, so this is gonna be uh, the second card, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a group just to make sure it's on. Uh, this is 33 yards or 30 meters with a Ratworks Reaper using JSB Heavy. Bullseye. It's a bit dark in here, it's quite hard to see. According to my magazine, that's 10 shots and it's a one hole group at 33 yards. And to be fair, I can't really see that well on times 10 mag because it's a bit dark in here. As you can see, it'll get lighter as I uh, zoom the camera out. But there we go. Here's the Reaper. So I've moved the board now and lifted it up a little bit and rested it on an hole in the breeze block to try and give me a little bit more light on this camera because like I said it's really dark in here and it's, it is hard to actually even see these little dots here what I've been shooting at from 33 yards on times 10 mag because it really uh, makes the scope picture dark but what I've done is I've put a brand new uh, drawing pin in the centre of mass of the group so you can see say seven of the shots well, I would have, some of that is tear, so yeah, I'd say seven and a half of the shots are definitely uh, under a drawing pin. Uh, I've straightened it up, you can see that's where it was. It's a one old group. These dots I'm shooting at, they're actually smaller than a drawing pin. If I just put that on there, hopefully, that you can see uh, that covers the actual dot. So they are quite tiny. If we'd have been outside and there'd have been, been no wind, uh, and it was daytime, all ten of them would have definitely gone under that drawing pin at this range and this rifle I've proven it in the past it's outside in still conditions I can put five shots under one of these drawing pins at 55 yards with it, it's that accurate Phil Crampton at the Ratworks has done an amazing job on it uh, and I've even had groups, five shot groups under an inch and a half, 83 meters so you know around about 100 yards which is uh, inch and a half, 100 yards for a sub 12 foot pound rifle is pretty good but obviously you would never <laughs> attempt to shoot vermin with it it was just what I was doing a bit of testing 
really impressive. So we set up now, ready, and hopefully there'll be a few rats out. So I'm ready now, set up. Got the uh, Night Sight uh, Wolf Artec on. So I'm going to do some recording through the, uh, obviously through the Night Sight. Uh, and hopefully Reaper's going to bag a few if they're out. So here's the first one I've just got. Where is it? There. Oh, oh yeah. There. So see, there's the exit. Oh yeah, perfect. That's where he went in. So he's gone across his head. Yeah. No nice shot. That's good. JSB heavy gone straight through him, hasn't it? But yeah. only what 17 meters we ranged it at, didn't we? Yeah. Weren't far at all. No. Is that what I mean, good shot. David just going to get that rabbit. I don't really want to zoom in because I think I'll try. I might lose. Oh, you can get it a little bit. There you go. This is just a little mod I've got on the camera. It's just one of them IRs. How far were it, do you reckon? We never ranged it. About 15 yards. 15 yards. Easy night so far. 17 meters and a 15 yard. Yeah, perfect shot placement, wasn't it? Look at a massive trauma to his headlets, like yeah. wearing a helmet. Yeah, yeah. them heavies do a massive amount of yeah. damage. That's why I like them at heavy it pellet. It certainly knocks it over at that range, doesn't it? Yeah. Perfect shot place, wasn't it? Yeah, it misshapes the head, doesn't it? Look, got caught by a thorn. Yeah, it misshapes the head, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, it's, it's. So, what I've done while David's just retrieved that rabbit, he went 30 metres, so 33 yards. I've just filled the magazine up, and now David is going to be shooting, uh, and I'll do some filming. Davy's on to one here. I forget to 
first record, mate. Yeah. That's it, nice sharp Sorted picture, that. Dodgy power laps out. Yeah, <laughs> I'll have to get a side focus. Yeah, that's for recording. So. He's probably going to be on cross, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, great shot. If you keep on him, I'll try and come off night shot and then zoom in. I'll tell you when I'm on him. So zoom in forward. No, he's just showing his uh, rear end, isn't he? Yeah, good shot though. Nice, well done. Just in line with that tree there, let's see. Yeah, I'll go get him. So, I'm the Springer Spaniel now, I'm going to find it for him. <laughs> uh, let's get my torch out, can't be too far from here. Oh, he is, further than I thought. I'll we'll get him. Here he is. I'll just turn the camera around one second. Here he is. It did say on the weather forecast mm. that the fog was uh Come on, turn your head. Davy's just watching this one here. It's gonna get reaped hopefully. It's 37 meters this is so it needs three quarts of a oh, oh mate! Did you hear the crack then? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely nailed it, didn't it? Three, I was about to say you needed three quarts of a mill dot yeah, for our near and far yeah. calibration and it absolutely smashed it. So here we are. David's got the knife, he's just gonna start gutting them. Gutting them. Been a good few hours, hasn't it? It has, yeah. Now the landowner will be happy because that's a few more we won't be digging, I suppose. That's right, yeah. Keep him happy, wouldn't he? Yeah. David's just using the flick method. Fox will have a nice bit of a grub to take as well, wouldn't he? Yeah, we've come to the corner of a field, you can see uh, where a tree's fallen down. Uh, we're just going to throw the guts in the corner, it's not going to disturb anyone. Uh, and then the fox will come and have his supper. <laughs> 